Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a rectangle in Dynamo. There is actually uh, two methods that allow you to draw a rectangle. The first one based on drawing uh, points and then connect those points with lines. And the second method based on use the command uh, polygon. Uh, in both cases, I'm going to export those uh, drawing from the abstract to the conceptual mass here in Rivet. So let's just start. First, just uh, we need to make points. So points, and the usual one here by coordinates. So that's my point, and you can see it's been already created a point here in the abstract or abstract point here. And then we need a slider, and I'm just writing here a slider. So I will just change the way Dynamo uh, perform or proceed with the executing orders you give from automatic to manual. It's uh, kind of easy, so each time you want to test that, you go with a run. Anyhow, so that's an integer. Get that down, uh, I'm gonna make it 10 here. So I'm defining the integer to be from 0 to 10, and I'm gonna connect that to X, and I'm gonna connect, uh, I'm gonna select it and make it uh, copy, and then paste it. Have another copy here. And I'm gonna connect this, leaving the Z because I know we're gonna use the X, Y only to be changed. This will be having its own default value, which is uh, zero. So I will keep that zero, zero now in order to keep preventing, you know, the repetition or the boring business of keep creating points. I'm gonna select both both those two things and then go to edit and then create a group. And I'm gonna call that, double click here and just name it point. So I'm, uh, I'm creating group that contain the three of those. So I'm gonna select that copy and then paste it. And you can see, you can drag and drop the entire block here or group here, instead of repeating the whole thing. So now I can just turn here and uh, push that a little bit to the side and then here again. So here, instead of zero, zero, I'll keep the zero, zero, actually, the four of them here in the same place. Uh, I'm gonna go five by zero, and uh, I'm gonna go five by five, and you can see there's nothing happening here because I need to hit run in order to see what's happening, and finally here is zero, and that's uh, five. So now run, and you can see that those, those are the four points that we are talking about. Now, we created the points, which is basically, uh, it's a common base between the both methods. Now we need to create a line to connect those points. So again, it's just a line by start point and end point. So that's what we need. So uh, we physically need four of them. So that's one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. That's the four lines. So this will be the start point, and this will be the end point. And now this guy will be the start point, and then this guy will be the end point. Then this guy will be the start, this guy will be the end, and so on. This guy will be the start, and this guy will be, be the end. So just make it sure that each point have one time to be start, and then one time to be an end, and so on. So run. And you can see now we have a, a nice rectangle uh, actually created here in the in the abstract or in the dynamo. It doesn't reflect back to to rivet actually at all. So now we need something called model curve dot curve. So it's allow us to model a curve based on curves. And the term here curve is actually based on anything, whether it's a real curve or line. So Dynamo understand the word curve uh, as it contained inside both lines and curves. And now you, if you connect this here, uh, you're gonna see, and hit run of course, and you're gonna see this line is now here, and so on. If you connect this guy and you hit run, I'm gonna replace it by that. So you either create four of those for each one of this, which is a little bit boring, or it's a good opportunity to learn about the list node. So just hit list. A very important function here. So I'm gonna create one. And list have indexes. 
on the left and list on the right. So in the index, it can be anything you like, and it's just you have to be aware of how many. So if you hit this cross and add four, because you have four imports, four, four lines, and connect all those lines to each index as such. So if you see what you got inside, like by pressing this, you're gonna see that uh, it's actually created, it should create actually four of those, which is four of lines. Now let's connect all of them here. You see there's none here, it doesn't show anything because I didn't hit run, so let me hit run. Now you see those lines, because I was trying to see, I thought it's automatic. Now, now you hit run, now you see it's, now the value stored here. So the list here is made of four lines. Now connect, and then hit run again, and you're gonna see those list of lines and translated and given once as all as a curve to the function of the node of model curve by curve and the model curve by curve translate that to you into rivet space and to rivet conceptual mass or rivet space here so that's the first method and in it we learn how to make a group as such and we learn about the list uh, node and we learn how to draw lines and how we translate that abstract line into a real model line into Revit. So this is the first method, which is again based on drawing lines. Now, uh, the other method is, is, is different. So I'm going to get rid of the lines and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep this aside. Anyway, so the next method is uh, is this it's, it's basically based on having four points as you can see like that and now i need to create a polygon and be aware there is too many types or too much types of uh, polygon there's a cycle polygon there is a separate polygon and uh, here a polygon by points as you can see so that's a polygon and here it's expecting me to have a group of points input and we're gonna draw a polygon which is not a single lines rather it's a polyline or it's a, a continuous series or chain of lines so in this case we must have a list you know and this time we're not gonna store in those four index four lines but rather we're gonna store inside four points as such see so we have four points here so if we run that guy, we, we store the points now in the list. Now I will feed the result of this four point or the list into the polygon, as you can see, and then hit run. And now we see this, uh, we see this has been uh, uh, highlighted for us is as yellow. That mean, that's really good way. It's uh, we made a mistake here by, by picking something. And now we have this four point, which is a polygon query. So now you know that I made this mistake by, by having this problem. I should have here create a polygon, which is a different, it's very similar. That's why I follow in this trap, as you can see. This is a query. It's it going to give you an indication of what you have inside rather than uh, this one, which is a create polygon. So it's good. It's even me following in this point. So I got to get off this. I didn't notice that this should be here points input so I'm gonna get rid of that so that's the point input that's the right one now if I connect it and then I hit run and now you see let's create this uh, the rectangle for me but in reality it's a four-sided polygon a continuous lines so when you see this as a job it's been finished if you are want to do the model only inside the, the, the dynamo issue but if you want to export it here if you try here and you have model curve so if you have a model curve that we just used like this one and and you try to connect it and then hit run you're gonna notice it's gonna crash and fail and the reason is that those are a continuous uh, it's a polygon it's a continuous chain or closed loop it shouldn't go by that this is for a, a separated curve which is a lines or curved so this is wrong so what you need is this it's model curve uh, here it's a model curve from a curve loop or by a curve loop so now I'm gonna collect this to that and then I'm gonna hit run 
and as you can see it's a model curve from curve loop and again it's depend on a curved loop so that is a closed geometry or closed line or polygons and as you can see it's uh, it's here that the, it's transferring the drawn lines from the dynamo as an abstract into a model just be aware you might not seeing this in your uh, in your uh, screen and just because you might need it's really really big yeah when you see the hole like this we're gonna start up by this so just be a be patient and zoom in a couple of times making the mouse at the x-axis and y-axis intersection here the original point and you're gonna see this transferred in uh, from the paper from the abstract space into the model i wish that you find this tutorial useful thank you very much and have a good day